What's up, Rocky family? It's been a long time, but I'm Donovan Clinton, welcoming you back to Bear Bites, where each week we spotlight Rocky, the athlete of the week. And to kick off the new year, it's only right that we have our athletic director. He is Jim Kleeman, going into his third year here, and he's already done some amazing things for us here. Jim, thank you for being with us today. Yeah, awesome being here with you, Donovan. So, as I mentioned, you're going into your third year here, and you've already done some very impactful things. Talk about your first two years here at Rocky. It's been awesome, man. It, 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 it's been an absolute blessing to be here at Rocky. I think that, you know, between our student athletes and our coaches and the support we have in this community and across our campus, it's just been a great experience for me. Um, we have, we've been able to do some really special things and we're working on some things, but I, I think if, the, if I reflect on the first two years, the thing I'm, I'm most proud of is, is our student athletes. They've just continued to strive for that, uh, that, that, excellence that we talk about every single day as part of our core values um, and, and everything that we do has, has been really centered on them and they've championed it at every juncture. Right now, one of your main focuses here has been culture, reestablishing culture. You talk about core values. Talk about why that's been such a focal point for you and how you feel the student athletes have responded. Yeah, I, I, and I really feel like, you know, they have responded, absolutely. And, and I think that culture is one of those things that we talk about every single day in our program, whether we're having, we're talking with our administrative team or we're talking with our student athletes. I, I really feel like your culture is the core of who you are. It's who you are. It's how you live every single day. And so I think it's important that it's easy to put, you know, something on a billboard. It's easy to put something, you know, on a T-shirt. But I think how you live those things every single day. And so we talk about believing in ourselves and believing that we can have success and believing that um, Rocky Mountain College can, can go to the heights that we want to go to. And we talk about that excellence mindset of being great in everything that we do, athletically, academically, socially, spiritually, um, being, being great people and doing it, you know, not selling for mediocrity. We talk about being accountable and what that means and holding each other accountable and and we talked about it, you know, we talked about it in the all-athletes meeting the other night of, you know, my job is to hold our student athletes accountable, but their job is also to hold me accountable. And if everybody's doing that, we have the ability to do great things. And then, you know, that relentless pursuit, we're going to work really hard at what we do, and we're going to do it with a passion. And then that, that big core for me is, is the servant leadership piece and, and how we're leading and serving others first and, and looking for that betterment of all and instilling that in, in everything that we do. Absolutely, absolutely not. You mentioned it when I asked the first question that we got some things coming up in the future and you've already done some great things, but what can you tell us about some of the plans coming up and the future for Rocky Athletics? Yeah, we're really excited. There's going to be some things coming this fall. We're working with um, a consulting group right now looking at our facilities and how we can potentially reimagine them. Um, so we're excited to see that all kind of come together and, and be able to present a plan to to our community and to our to our donor base and our fan base as well as our student athletes of, of some projects that we think are going to be really impactful in athletics. So really excited about that. Absolutely. I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see what those plans are now. With football season coming up, not just here, but at all levels, it's only right that I ask, who do you think will be in the Super Bowl this year and who's going to win? It? Man, I, I'm a diehard Denver Bronco fan. <laughs> I've been a Bronco fan since I was five years old. I have to say Denver Broncos. Like, <laughs> there's no shot that I'm going to say anybody else. I know we got some work to do, right? Um, but, hey, new coaching staff, we're going to get Russ right, and, and I'm going to say Broncos. I, I, it's a long way to go. It's a long shot. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to say Broncos. We'll see. We'll see. Anything is possible. Well, that's all we have time for here today. Jim, thank you again for being on the show. And on behalf of all student athletes, thank you so much for – all that you've done, all that you continue to do. Um, you've been someone that I know we can rely on, we can trust, that you're going to do the right things for us. And I'm excited to see what the future holds for us. I really appreciate that, Donovan. And, and again, thank you guys for doing this. I think this is a, a wonderful thing that we're highlighting our student athletes with. And I get excited every week when I get to watch it. So you're doing a great job. And I thank you for those kind of words. Really well. Absolutely. Thank you all for watching. If you're in town, be sure to stop by for football's home opener against Dickinson State this Saturday at 6 p.m. right here at Herb Clint Field. Again, thank you all for watching. I'm Donovan Clinton, and we'll see you next week.